Hey guys, welcome back to the Passive Money Plane. Today we're going to be talking about stock market and how Kirby and I make income from stocks and how you can as well. So Kirby, we'll just go through a couple of ways, you know, stock options, dividends, but how are some ways that you make income? I was over here getting my Marilyn Monroe on, you know, making sure I was good. You know what I mean? Um, no, so, uh, yeah, there's different ways. I mean, of course, everybody knows the obvious way. The obvious way, dividends, just income, dividends. That's, you know, usually for, you know, qualified dividends, most companies, it's once every quarter. That's once every three months, they pay you a qualified dividend. So that's one way of bringing in income. The other the other different ways that me and Alex bring in income is cash secure puts or covered calls. And what we use the cash secure puts, and then Alex can deep dive into deep dive into how they work when he gets his chance. But um, but for the cash secure puts, cash secure puts, we usually use those to build a position. So let's say we I'll just use MO because that's one of my favorite companies. I know it's a sin stock, so please don't shoot me nobody. But MO it pays right now pays an eight percent dividend, and then so if I'm looking to get an MO, let's say at forty dollars a share, and then so I would sell cash secure puts at forty dollars a share, and what that will do, and it don't matter if I put the contract out a week, a quarter, I mean uh, at two weeks a month out, it will pay me a set amount just for selling that cash secure put. You know, and they'll give me 3%, 4%, maybe uh, in this, uh, yearly return. So let's use that. Uh, 3 4% yearly return. Uh, and then so if the price of the stock comes down to there and I get the shares at $40 a share, great, because I want the stock at $40 a share. But if it doesn't, then I keep the cash that I I sold the put on and I also get the money from the cash of cure put. And then I would just keep doing that over and over again on a weekly basis or monthly basis. So if you add that up, you know, you're getting two to four percent a year. I'm using small numbers, but two to four percent a year on Altria on the dividend side. And then you add in the eight percent uh, dividend. I mean, on the cash secure put side, then you add in the dividend. That's 12 percent return a year. And I'm using small numbers on the cash secure put. Or then once I have the stock of Altria, I'm still collecting the dividend. And then I'm selling cash and I'm selling cover calls over the top of the shares. So meaning that I'm selling calls saying that the stock won't get to X amount of level uh, by a certain date. And then I'm getting, you know, let's say 2%, 2 to 4% on the yearly return. So if I'm doing cover calls, I'm collecting dividends from the stock and doing cash secure puts. So it's four. Eight four, so that's eight percent on the uh you know cover calls cash here put side eight percent on the dividend that's sixteen percent uh returns per year and that's not even counting to the fact the uh, the appreciation or depreciation of the stock itself so that's another way how we make money on a weekly monthly and quarterly basis with cash secure puts and cover calls Alice what you got. Yeah, one of the coolest ways to think about it that you had mentioned to me before was like, as the seller of these cash secured puts or these covered calls, you're the house. And then there's people on the other end that are buying, you know, those puts, those calls that you're selling. And you as a seller, you need the cash in order to sell against that that contract or you need you know 100 shares of a stock so you can sell one contract the contract is good for 100 shares but there's people trying to gamble on the other end people that you know the most popular way of call options is buying them you probably have heard you probably seen on social media people talking about buying options because it's so popular it's just gambling and so the house always wins and they're taking a bet against you know against you so that's one of the, my <clears throat> that's one of the coolest things i think about selling cash uh, secured puts and covered calls is like you're always going to win and if you're invested in a stock that you believe in that you understand this is just an extra way to make more because when you sell cash secured puts you're selecting the price that you are comfortable with buying the stock at if it goes down to that price. When you're selling covered calls, you're selecting the price that you're comfortable with selling the stock at. So 
you're totally invested in it. It's within a safe realm, I would say, because hopefully you're making the right decisions on what price you want to buy it at, what price you want to sell it at, and you're not just getting greedy. And in the meantime, you're collecting your dividend, if it's a dividend stock, and you're collecting that income. And yeah, like as you said, you know, four or five percent is probably is, you know, that's being generous because we're not generous, but that's being real low on the percentage because in reality that I believe that stock pays about one to two percent per month on call options. So that comes out to about 12, 24 percent a year on top of the dividend. So there's, you know, there's it's a great way to make money and especially on some of the value stocks as well, which may require more capital, but you can make even more. So Altria is a is a good steady stock and in order to make money. And yeah, we use this we use this form to make additional income in order to purchase more shares or to purchase real estate and things of that nature. But it's a great way to make income because it definitely adds up. And uh, and the reason why I brought up Altria and then I didn't say Tesla and things like that is because dividend stocks are the best. That is the absolute best to do it with, not because of the return. Is because when you're in the, the stock, it, you don't have that much beta in the stock. Beta meaning how much he moves more than the, you know, the market itself. You know, it's going to go up a little bit. It's going to come down a little bit, but you're not going to have these outsized, you know, three, four standard deviation moves from the mean with those so if you get you know called out of a position or the stock declines and uh bust out your on the bottom side of the cash secure put side and you own the stock the stock is not going to run away from you where it's going to go all the way down to zero because usually the you know dividend kings aristocrats have been around for 50 years so they're not gonna go to zero and it's not about to go 100 percent you know overnight or hell over two three years so you don't have to worry about that when you're dealing with dividend stocks. So that's why it's the best one to use this um, use this strategy with. Absolutely. With all that being said, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button, leave a comment down below. If you got any questions, share this video, subscribe. See you guys in the next video.